Hey guys, in today's video, as promised, today I'm going to give you guys a quick follow-up on some of the additional features and changes that I've come across and that other people have discovered in the last 24 hours after iOS 12 Beta 6 was released by Apple yesterday. Now, for those of you who are waiting for the battery test, those videos are still in progress. Battery tests do take time, so it takes about two days for me to complete the test. So be sure to stay tuned and subscribe to the channel if you want to know what the battery will be like on Beta 6 in comparison to Beta 5. Again, those videos were soon to be coming your way. Now, let's talk about some of the additional changes within iOS. First, I want to talk about the AirPlay icon here on the platter for the lock screen on the music platter. You see that's been slightly tweaked in iOS 12 beta 6. Now, yesterday I talked about a new wallpaper within the home application, but there's actually a few things that are new within the home application, including the icon to go home inside of your HomeKit application. So let's go here into the settings for the HomeKit app, and you'll find now that you have several wallpapers to choose from. Not only one, which I mentioned yesterday, the blue one, but you also have have the blue you have the green and you also have an orange which by the way if I can find these wallpapers I'll link those down below for you guys if you guys want to use them they're just simple color wallpapers but I know a lot of you guys like the new Apple wallpapers and that's what's new inside of the home app now one thing that was immediately apparent after using iOS 12 beta 6 was the speed on how the device has performed look how much faster this device can open and close applications go through the app switcher it's just lightning speeds and this also translates to other devices as well such as the iPhone 7 the iPhone 8 including in the iPhone 6 and 6s this performance on the beta 6 has been phenomenal so far for the last 24 hours well, something I found rather interesting yesterday as I was texting someone I clicked on the camera icon here to take a photo and I noticed it just caught my eye here on the top left this media attachment content button here that you can tap which is kind of awkward to place it there but anyway if you tap into it it'll bring you to all your photos and videos in the bottom so you can share more content I think it's a good idea but I don't think it's the right idea to place it up on the top left i think apple should maybe place that next to this star here or something where you can go and click and share some effects that all the way up there just seems kind of awkward and last but not least i want to share with you guys something that was shared on twitter by developer rambo links will be in the description the new iphones are set to support dual sim card and this prompt here in beta 5 and beta 6 suggests that that it's going to be the case you see here last line no longer available do you want to call with one of your remaining lines if you click ok it will probably switch with that dual sim setup again links will be in the description for the original source but it looks like apple is aiming to release dual sim card support for the iphone and this prompt in beta 5 and beta 6 seems to be proving that but anyway guys as i mentioned the battery test the performance test that video should be ready by tomorrow i just wanted to give you guys those additional changes and features within ios 12 beta 6 i hope you guys enjoy the video stay tuned and i'll see you on the next one peace